I'm going to do here today is replace the spark plugs on a 2.7 Ford EcoBoost engine. It, uh, this is a 2019. If you have a 2018 or older in here, you'll have a cover with two nuts that attach up here. You'll have to remove those two nuts and the cover will slip back. If you have a 19 or, or newer, they didn't put a cover on. You have to make sure that the engine is cold when you do this. Uh, if it's you driven it and it's warm, there's a chance that you'll pull the threads out of the aluminum head when you remove the spark plugs. This has been sitting overnight and it's like uh, 50 degrees Fahrenheit here, so uh, I think we're good. Before I get started here, I'm going to take some compressed air and blow the top of the engine off. Make sure all the loose dust is out of there. What you're going to want to do, unplug the coil pack. There is this white tab, you have to pull that back and you can pinch it, pull the, unplug the coil pack there. Okay, there's this uh, wiring harness here. It's just up on some studs there. We'll go ahead and pull that off. It's held on in a couple of spots. We'll go and do that. Okay, there's a little vapor hose here. There is this blue little locking tab. You push that back push down a little bit and then you can pull up on it. Move that out of the way, give us a little more room. I had to uh, unsnap the wiring harness in several spots there. And we'll take an eight millimeter deep well and we'll take and remove this bolt holding the coil pack on. Then we'll just take and twist a little coil here and the boot will come out with it. Okay, next I'm going to shoot a little air down here, make sure there's no dust in there before removing the spark plug. Yeah, I got a 5 8 spark plug socket on there and I have one of those locking extensions to make sure it doesn't Get stuck down in there, that'd make a bad day. Snap that on there and remove this spark plug. If it starts to bind up, make a little squeaking noise, just take some carburetor cleaner and spray it down there and let it soak for a, a minute or two and then it'll come out a lot easier. Okay, I got my new spark plug here. I happen to be using a, a Champion instead of the Ford ones, save a little money. I'm going to change them every 50,000. The spec for this is the gap needs to be between 28 and 31 thousandths. So I got her there. Uh, if you get the Champion ones, you may have to adjust the gap on it. Next what I'm going to do is just take a small dab of anti-seize, place it on the thread so when I remove it next time it should come out a little easier. Then I'm going to take my boot here, put a little bit of dielectric grease around the edge here so it doesn't get stuck on the spark plug. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and install the spark plug here. I'm going to just uh, do it by hand, get it started down there. And then I am going to torque it 
to 133 inch pounds. Alright, got that, pull that out. Now I'll put the uh, coil pack and boot on. Slide that there, and then we'll line our hole up and put our stud back in there. Okay, now that that's tightened up, we'll go and take our plug for our coil pack there that in there and push our white tab all the way forward. That'll lock it in there so it doesn't come off. We'll do the rest for the other five. Okay, I'm going to snap everything back together that I un undid there and put this on there. Reconnect our little holes here. And on to the other side. Okay, got this side all done. Ready to start her up. Over here, there is one of those hoses that I had to uh, take off. That little blue tab, you push it to the uh, side there and then uh, take it off to get to that coil pack. Everything looks good. I'm going to start her up now.